Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. So today, uh, we are going to do a video on the basics of Minecraft. So, I'm not sure if you know the YouTuber Cory X Kinchin, but he has recently gotten into playing Minecraft. So, and in his videos, he's complaining about not wanting to read the quote-unquote essays that people have wrote for him on how to Minecraft. So I thought I'd make a little video for him, just because... <sighs> I've been playing for over seven years. I know everything about it. It's like seeing a newbie. It's just... Oh my gosh. So anyway. We got a Cory X Kenshin world. We're gonna do it in survival. And I'm not gonna touch anything else. So we're gonna go into the world. Now. In the videos, you'll notice that Cory isn't near a village. This is unfortunate for him. Because villages give you a place to stay and a lot of resources. So, uh, my number one tip is once you get into the world, look for a village. Immediately. Because that's going to help you out a lot. So, we have our brand new world here. The sun is right, glorious, pixely day. And I... I'm gonna start by chopping in a tree. This is riveting gameplay. Okay, so another tip for uh, just, this is what I like to do. So, just in case I'm not able to reach all of the roots, I like to go one up. So I'll break this. And then I'll do that. So then I'll use this to make sure I can reach all of the wood in the tree without having to build up. And then once I have all the wood from the tree, then I'll take the last two blocks of the trunk down. So that's just me. Okay, now another thing Corey brought up in his third video is that he had a lot of iron and apparently, and apparently 19 pieces of iron is a lot to him. And uh, he immediately made it into stuff. I wouldn't advise this personally because you could always use some extra iron. I like to stack it up a little bit, then make some armor. Like once I have 30 or so pieces, then I'll make some armor. Especially because it takes a lot. And um, just make sure you always have some iron in your chest just in case you need something real quick for something that you're doing. And you look in the chest like, oh no, I'm out of iron. Now I have to go into the cave, grab some iron, come back, smelt it, blah, blah, blah. 30 years later. Okay, now I can get back to what I was doing. So, I would recommend that you save at least a little iron in the chest. Uh, that's just uh, my personal advice. Uh, it's not like you have to do it. It's just um, a tip. So, I'm going to go ahead and kill some sheepos, because, as everybody knows, uh, sheep drop wool. And he had made a, he has made a bed in his uh, videos, um, which is good, because you want a bed, obviously, so stuff. So, he also made a little farm. So, he didn't know he had wheat seeds in his chest but he did so to get wheat seeds you just uh mine up a bunch of dirt or grass and you're eventually gonna get some it's the easiest way to get the seeds um and they grow wheat which you can turn into bread or use for other recipes like cake or lean animals because sheep cows and cows will like wheat pigs like carrot and chickens seeds so I see some pumpkins over there I'm gonna go grab those 
And this is again just a me thing, but I like to grab as many pumpkins as possible just because I like making all the fun food, like uh, pumpkin pie, but also because uh, you can take shears, you can make it into a jack o' lantern, you know, or pumpkin, jack o' lantern, all that good stuff. So, the reason I always like to have a carved pumpkin, pumpkin on hand is they prevent Endermen from getting upset at you. I'm not sure if Corey knows this, but that's how that works. So, if you're going on a monster hunt at night, I would recommend having a pumpkin in your inventory. So, if you see an Enderman... You can go up to it and get the first hit. Or you can just like go like this and then hit it. But you want to get the first hit and then you immediately want to go into some water. Because Endermen can't go into water. So you stay at a safe distance away from him but also at a distance where you can actually hit him. And he's going to teleport a lot because that's his thing. But you'll eventually be able to get it down, no problem. So, there's uh, how I usually handle Enderman. And I do handle them a lot. Now. Uh, in Corey's recent episode, or latest episode, he has, well, was trying to um, fight off a bunch of monsters. So, they remarked that there being about eight monsters, uh, zombies, at the same time. To that I say, dude, come on. So, Cory, if you want to be good at Minecraft, you gotta get used to fighting monsters. Because they'll come in hordes a lot, and uh, especially on, yeah, well, it depends on what difficulty your game is set on. I think mine's on normal. So, there are going to be a decent amount of monsters at night. But, there are always some strategies to fighting against the monsters. Because zombies are slow and don't do a lot of damage. So, as long as you're backing away with them following you, you're going to get them down easy peasy. Uh, spiders, don't let them take the higher ground. Just stay above them and hit them. Um, creepers, either hit, back up, or fight it in the water. Let's see, uh, Enderman, get in the water after the first hit. Let's see what else is there. Skeletons, uh, always have some extra dirt on you, build a little fence, it'll, or hide behind a tree. It'll either come towards you, or you can slowly make your way towards it, so you'll be in range to hit it. And as long as you keep hitting it, it's not gonna get an arrow out, uh, fast enough to... Well, it's going to get one out before you can kill it, and it'll knock you back a little bit, but if you uh, have the correct strategy, uh, you could get to it without being knocked back every five seconds. So, you want to move a lot of, for the skeletons, you want to move around a, a little bit from side to side. Like, so, if this block was a skeleton, I would move over here, but I also get a little closer to it, so it's going to have... Uh, much harder of a time hitting me and I'm also getting closer to it why 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 is auto jump on hold on oh yeah see we're on normal so those are my basic tips um you always want to have some torches on you. Always. Especially if you're going into a cave. So if you're going into the cave, um, I like to bring torches, food, depending on the cave, maybe a chest and a furnace. So if it's a cave I'm going to be visiting a lot, I'm going to bring a chest and a furnace in. So I can like, I'll light my way with torches so I'll know exactly where I'm going. I'll, um, a decent way down, I'll place a chest and 
a furnace as kind of like a checkpoint so I can unload um, all of the materials like I would unload all the coal and cobblestone and iron I have gotten or put the iron in the furnace so I do that as kind of like a checkpoint so then if I die I know where exactly where I'm going I won't have lost all my stuff um so just in case I don't get to my stuff in time oh hello mama I want you just in <gasps> Just in case I don't get to my stuff in time, I won't I won't have lost everything. So that's what I do personally. Um, in the videos, I don't think uh, he has a cave like really close to his house. But you know, oh that's gonna hurt. Okay, so I can be a little bit careless. In Minecraft sometimes, as you can see, I just jumped off and did not make it into the water in time. And, um, I'm at pretty low hunger too. <laughs> but, there's always a but. Um, since I'm not, that only, okay, well it did a decent amount of damage. However, I'm not like I still have four hearts left and that's enough for me um I'm at four hearts or lower a lot in minecraft same with food um so I personally don't like to eat Ooh. don't like to eat raw anything because it's not as good as cooked anything. Why why is this chicken so strong? So to get some food quickly, uh you can just break all the leaves off of a tree and they have the chance of dropping sticks and apples. So there's some food right there. Now, apples don't refill a lot of hunger, but it does a decent amount for what it is. So, nighttime. Okay. So, I'm just gonna get my crafting table and make myself a bed. And. I'm gonna sleep. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing this if you're new to the game, because a monster can come at you. But at this point, it's just like, oh no, a monster. Uh... So, you know, I don't. It's like, whatever. You get up, you beat it to death, you go back to sleep. That being said, you do want a home, obviously, eventually. Uh, before I build a home, I usually like, uh, going to a village and then just claiming one of the homes. But apparently, it's a lot harder to find a village in PC than it is Pocket Edition, because I usually play Pocket Edition. Because my friends don't have PC. Well, some of them do, but whatever. So, with that being said... With that being said, I am going to go to the swamp over there. So, the swamp has a chance of, uh, let me, hold on. A swamp has a chance of having a witch's hut. And a witch's hut can have cake and other stuff. And I like going to witch's huts. So, oh yeah, for witches, the strategy is, excuse me, the strategy is as close to it as possible, because then if it splashes you with a potion, it'll also splash itself, and hit it, because then it'll drink a health potion, which will give you more time to hit it, so it'll just try to keep healing itself, and eventually it'll just fall, death, <laughs> I made that more clear. 
But yeah, so that's a that's the shit I use, and it works extremely well for me. I uh, I know you're not really supposed to spam spam attacks um in PC, but the quicker it goes down, the better. So pick your battles. I am going to grab some more cobblestone while I'm over here and make a furnace. So, um, I am being pretty careless at the moment, um, because I'm kind of chilling out here, uh, on very low health, and, which isn't a good idea, but at this point, it's just like, whatever. So you want to get as far as possible in a day as you can, unless you have decided to to settle down at a certain spot. I don't usually settle down at a certain spot. I usually go for a village. Um, so find the village, leave the village, continue moving. Um, but for some beginners, it might be more comfortable to just build a house and just kind of grind up a little bit and then go exploring. Which makes more sense uh, because you want to get to a stable point first, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to chill on top of this mountain and make a furnace. Okay, so, as you can see, I have over a stack of wood, which is great, because that's plenty of wood to build a nice house. However, before I build a house, I'm going to, set up, I'm going to check the entire swamp to see if there's a witch's hut, because if there is, I can just remodel it into my house, or my temporary house. If there's not, I'm going to go ahead and find a decent place to make a house house, and just kind of grind up for a little while. So... I have, I don't know how many times I've said so in this video so far, but it has been a lot. Um, I have sugarcane here, and I'm not sure if Cory figured out how to plant sugarcane. But, he tried to plant it on hoed ground, which doesn't work. So, you can actually place sugarcane on any block any grass or sand block but it has to be right next to water so i can plant it here but i can't plant it here because it's not in contact with water so that's how sugarcane works uh these are lily lily, lily pads um they are anything special you can't really make anything with them but they're good for like a little water path if you're interested in that, I am. It looks great for decorations. But right now, I'm just trying to survive. I'm just going to swim. Um, I'm not sure if Corey has learned how to swim, but basically you just sprint in the water. I um, mean, you do have to be under the water to start swimming. See, like, I'm trying to sprint now, and it can't. But as soon as I get under the water, I can start. So, I'm going to swim over here. So, oh, sugar cane can be crafted into two items. Paper and sugar. So, you use sugar in crafting um, things like cake and pumpkin pie. And you use paper to craft uh, books and, and maps. So, um, maps are indeed super important. How... 
However, I wouldn't recommend just making a normal map. I would recommend a locator map because that shows you where you are on the map. And a normal map doesn't do that. So to make a locator map, you only need eight pieces of paper and you need a compass, which is the hard part. Because to make a compass, it requires both iron and redstone, which is a pretty, well, it's not too, too rare, but you have to go deep to grab it. So, yep, that's problem one. So, but, you know, it's not that difficult. Especially if you find a good cave, or better yet, a ravine. So, Cory made a bucket, which is good, because he can fill that bucket with water, then find a ravine, then put water at the edge of the ravine, then he's got his own little elevator for up and down the ravine. It's a great strategy. I use it a lot. It's very helpful. Alright. So. I see there's no witch's hut that I can find, but there are some mushrooms, mushroom trees, I think that's what they're called, and let me tell you, mushroom trees are really good for building tree houses, but look at this, this is a great place for a good tree house, and if you know me, you know I love a good tree house. They're one of my favorite things to build in Minecraft. So. Okay. So I'm going to start building a little tree house. Uh, let's see. Right here is a good spot. All right. Just gonna build up the walls a little bit and the reason i prefer a tree house over a house on the ground is because it's a lot harder for zombies to get you which is always great spiders yes they can climb up the tree but usually they get stuck and can't get you so it's not too big a deal um so the only real whoop, the only real problem with a treehouse is having a way to get up and down. So usually I use scaffoldings, but scaffoldings require bamboo to build, and I have not come across bamboo. Oh. So, um, I'm probably going to use ladders instead. It's a lot easier to build. Uh, they just require a bunch of sticks. Um, and zombies can't climb ladders. So there you go. Okay. <sighs> Here we go. I am almost out of food. So I am going to go down here and attack mushroom trees. Because mushroom trees have a chance of dropping mushrooms. And with mushrooms, you can make mushroom stew. Which is really easy to make if you're in a biome like this that has mushroom trees. And it fills up a lot of your hunger. So it's a 10 out of 10 food. There's actually a Minecraft song based on it. <laughs> so there's that. So I have. I'm gonna finish breaking this tree down. So if you can't find any mushroom trees, then occasionally they'll be on uh, pieces of 
trees that have been cut down. Uh, if I find it, I'll show you. They haven't been actually cut down, but it just, it's a, a horizontal log. So, cut down in quotation marks there. So, I have 15 red mushrooms. And I'm going to have some mushrooms out of some brown mushrooms from this tree. So, to make mushrooms do, it only requires three things. One, yes, just one brown mushroom, one red mushroom, and a bowl. And a bowl only require, requires three wooden planks to make. So, bam, you got food for days, man. I'm talking, this is some good stuff right here. All right, so another time, another topic I haven't yet covered uh, is parkour, which I am failing at the moment. So parkour is uh, Corey Kenji knows what it is, but you want to get good at it in Minecraft. So it's basically just doing fancy jumps like that, and uh, stunts that'll get you places. Um, so it's very important in Minecraft, because you never know when you're going to have to use some good old parkour. And I'm not sure if anybody has told Cory yet, but the number one rule of Minecraft is don't dig down. So just don't dig down, my dude. Seven brown mushrooms and fifteen red mushrooms. And um three wooden planks makes four bowls. So there you go. So I can make four mushroom stews right off the bat. With very little effort. So I'm gonna make some bowls. I'm gonna put this in there. Gotta put those in there. I'm gonna put those in there. And we got mushroom stew. Tasty. And I'm gonna make a chest. Okay. So now we're getting the gameplay started. <laughs> I'm gonna put everything that I'm not currently using in the chest. I will make a little farm later. I will show you how to make a good farm. So in his video, he puts just seeds a bunch next to each other, and there's nothing too wrong with that, except if they're not close enough to water, they won't be watered, which means they won't grow. So you have to be wary of that. Um, which is why I like to have mine in little... Uh, Columns, so it's just like plant, 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 water, 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 water. So I'm gonna make myself a stone pickaxe. And I happen to be next to a lot of mountains, which is gonna make finding ore a little bit easier for me. Um, so you might have noticed I skipped by a lot of coal. That suck. That is because I'm on a mountain. There is so much coal on this island, on this mountain, and all of the mountains. Like, look at all this coal right here. And I already have, like, 40, so I don't need all that much. For now, so if I ever actually need some, I can always just come up here and grab some. It'll take less than 10 minutes because of the amount of coal that's up here. So cool. So yeah, just gonna get um, a decent amount of cobblestone. So I have okay. I 
have 22 cobblestone. 24 cobblestone. So that'll be enough for now. I am gonna head back down to my house. And I'm gonna have to end it here because this video is 30 minutes long. And I don't like my videos being too too long. Oh. Too long because then people don't watch till the end. Not that people watch my videos anyway, but <laughs> so if you'd like to see uh, the continuation of the Cory Kinchin tutorial, please hit the like button, pretty please. Oh, I'll tell you, you might notice that my skin looks different. It's because uh, there was a importing problem with Minecraft P P E. So this is my usual skin. But yeah, anyway. I'll see you guys later. Enjoy. Have a good one. Minecraft is great when you're bored in quarantine. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.